Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I want to do the tutorial on how to put your traditional desktop icons back on Plasma. And it does turn out, after looking into this a little bit longer, I am not losing my mind. What ended up happening is they have been playing around with various iterations of desktop icons and things like this. Somewhere around the uh, along the way, they got rid of the default desktop icons that used to be there when you click desktop view, then you got your default desktop icons. And we're talking about my computer, home, network, trash, mountain network drives. So those are kind of the five. Now I've not found a way to put the mounted network drives on there. My apologies for that, but I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how you can add my computer if you want it. I don't like that one on Linux, but hey, it's an option. Uh, home folder, network, and trash. We wanna show you how to put those onto a, uh, onto a Plasma desktop. But there, there is a brief article here which kind of explains the on again, off again, improvements, disimprovements, and various other issues inside of Plasma. So what they were doing is they're experimenting with different ways of having desktop icons and in different platforms. And in the middle of doing all of this, what ended up happening is the desktop icons that uh, the more traditional desktop icons ended up getting removed from the system. And so what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna show you how to put them back. So I'm over here on uh, Solace Plasma, and uh, you can see here that I have just a text file over here on the uh, document there. This actually contains the files we're gonna look at. And we also have my computer, which when we click this, we'll just open this up. And the reason I don't like this in Linux is it behaves a little bit differently than it than it did in uh, in Windows. So I generally turn that one off on my Linux builds. Home folder though, I find indispensable. So we can click into there and see what is in your home folder. Our network opens up our network shares. And of course, our trash opens up our trash can. And we will have a uh, we will have a uh, full and a an empty icon here. Let's go ahead and empty trash. Go ahead and empty that guy out. It doesn't look like the icon's changing there, so maybe there's something wrong in the little code. But anyway, uh, what is going on here? First and foremost, one of the great things about Plasma is there's so many options. One of the worst things about Plasma is there are so many options. So one of the things that you can do inside of your Plasma is you can completely disable all icons altogether. Uh, so when you do that, right clicking over here, you see you can't create a new file, you can't have new folders, there's nothing there that you can have. But when you do your layout desktop, you have no icons. When you do a layout folder view, this is the types of things that, uh, this is the type of thing that uh, they have been experimenting with. Now, what they did is they added this extra locations tab, which actually can do some really cool things. The default is your desktop folder, which in modern, uh, computing happens to be the folder inside your home folder called desktop. This is where everything lives and everything sits, okay? Now, you also, though, have the ability to have files linked to the current activity. So I have never experimented with this one here. That might be kind of cool to see what we're doing. We also, though, have the ability to open certain panels. So if I open Home, you see that we have our entire list of here's our desktop, documents, downloads. That, for me, is a little too much. I don't really like that. You can actually go in and select just your documents if you're wanting to work with just whatever's on your documents. So this is actually a really, really cool system that we have. There are some limitations to it, but I love the fact that this is now an option for it. So of course your documents, you know, this is your entire hard drive. So this would basically kind of be uh, whatever is, you know, inside of there. And I think actually that's my, that's my boot partition. This one's my actual home folder. So be careful with this. <laughs> Okay, so that's kind of what they did, or you can do uh, some type of custom location if you want to pull it in from somewhere else. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that desktop folder, uh, click OK, and now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we are adding things in here. So if you don't already have desktop folders, then you might need to uh, go ahead and open up your uh, Dolphin file manager. So with Dolphin File Manager here, you're gonna to wanna to open up to your desktop. So this is what we're gonna do. Now, of course, these .desktop files is what we're working with. This one here, 
uh, is that should be a dot desktop. I actually put that together a different way. But the first thing, first thing I'm going to show you how to do is there is kind of a poor man's way to do this, which is going to be quite a bit easier, uh, although it may not look as elegant. You can literally just come over here and drag over here and hit um, down here, a link here. You can do an add icon, add folder view. I'm not sure what the add icon is going to do. Okay, so the add icon here, this is just going to uh, go ahead and add an icon, which is going to give us uh, basically a widget. Okay, so this will accomplish the same task. It will behave a little bit differently. If you can see if I hover over this versus hover over this, a little bit different uh, behavior. So let's go ahead and remove the icon. You can also come over here and you can add a link. So if you hit the link here, then what this is going to do is you'll see it'll have a little link folder, which you can actually use and manipulate kind of the same way. Now, if we right click this guy here, we can see it's just a system link. I don't like that, uh, that option either, as I can't really control as much what it looks like. So let's go ahead and move that one to the trash. So in order to create though your desktop icons, what you're gonna do is this is simply a, uh, this is simply a text file. So if we just kind of create a new and a text file, we want to name it a uh, just whatever we're going to name the thing. So we're just going to call this, uh, let's just call this guy, we'll just do another one of the home folders. Um, let's just call it home dot desktop. Actually, let's do home two dot desktop because I already have home dot desktop in here. So now this just creates a simple folder here. You can see it's over here, but it's not actually set to anything. So we're going to right click open this guy in Kate. And what we're going to do is we're going to create what is called a desktop entry. So square bracket desktop entry. And then here we are going to enter in a lot of information. So what I have here is uh, I have this guy. Let me uh, discard that one. I'm going to open this in a new and let's just, I'm gonna have to open it here again. And so with our home desktop file open, we're going to enter in data. Now I already have the desktop files contains all of the code we're gonna need. So you can actually grab this. I'll have this in the, um, uh, in the blog post attached to the video description here. So what we're gonna do is if I wanna do this as a home folder, you can see we have desktop entry. Now, the home folder is a little bit different in that we're using the system link here for the home folder. The other ones you'll notice are a little bit different. So uh, that's why I wanted to do the tutorial so you can kind of see what goes into what URL bars. So we're just going to go ahead and paste this in here. So this is going to the um, system link for your home folder. The generic name is just what it's uh, going to be called in the system. Now the name here is what you're going to see on the desktop and we have a English specific. You can probably leave that one out. The type tells it what type of name it is and the icon is whatever the icon is. I'll show you how you can find your icon names here in a minute. So we go ahead and save this guy here and close your desktop file. Now you can see it looks identical to the other one. It's going to open up your link directly where it was. So let's go ahead and minimize that guy there. Now, if you want to change your icons, you can also right click. You can open them up with Kate, which is going to give you uh, the ability to make any edits. If we head on down to properties though, and click the icon name here, you'll get a list of icons. So these are your system icons in the applications folder. So this guy here, uh, we're using, what we use here? Um, I think user icon, was it? Uh, it may not actually be in the system profiles here, but you can kind of see what the icons are. Now, if you hover over an icon, so I can actually collect this guy here, and there we are. Now we have our, our alien icon. Um, so let's go ahead and right click, hit properties, clicking on your icons. I think that was one of the user icons. Now it's just not in the application, so it might be under, let's do categories. Let's see if there's under actions. You can see these icons. You 
So there it is. So user home is the folder that we were using. Here's the trash full. Uh, here's the trash. Here's the trash full. So if this is the one I might want to look at that icon just to see how we can do it. So you can see you can change any, you can change it to be any icon that you want inside of here. Just go ahead and uh, pick the application that you want. There's really no limit. And all that's actually going to do is just change the uh, the line item for the icon. So if we open this guy back up in Kate, you'll see it just changed the icon to the Alien Arena icon. So that is basically how you can make your adjustments. I want to see if I have my trash here, user icon trash full. Oh, that's why, because I don't have a empty icon user trash. I probably have an error in my line for that. So let's go ahead and uh, open up our trash folder here. Open this guy up with Kate and boom. Save that. And now we have the correct icon. So I had a, I had an error in my line code there. So I'll make sure that's updated in the blog post. So anyway, that is how you can add your desktop icons. So um, again, just a, a brief summary inside of your go into home desktop, right click, create a new text file, rename it, just do home.desktop. Uh, you can do my computer.desktop, network.desktop, all these things here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy here. So I don't want that one. And then with those open, here is the codes that I have, and I'm going to have these in the uh, post there. So you can follow the link in the description here and grab these. So all you need to do is just copy this guy for the My Computer, this guy for the Home folder, this guy for the Trash, this guy for the Network. Put those on, and then you will have your basic desktop icons on Plasma. Now, of course, to remove them, just go into that desktop folder and right-click Remove the desktop icon and that will go away. So hopefully this tutorial helped you to get your plasma system running with all of the icons that you wanted. Why did they get rid of those? Uh, maybe it was just the fact there's so many moving parts they, they forgot about it. But anyway, that's how you can put the icons back for all of those icons that you want. Me personally, I'm going to take my computer off, but I do like my trash, my home folder, and my uh, network all being on the system. So with that, thanks for watching along. Uh, again, the uh, post is uh, in the description there. It'll take you over to the code where you can just copy and paste it and uh, give you the, the detailed walkthrough as to how to do that. So thanks for coming along, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.